our oceans are in trouble. Fisheries across the globe are rapidly declining due to unsustainable fishing practices, and many sea creatures will disappear in our lifetime. The question is, what can you do about it? The answer, you can do a lot. Let's take a look at our friend Jackie. Jackie is at her local store and she's shopping for dinner. She wants to buy fish because it's a healthy option, but she wants to make sure it's sustainable because she cares about the environment. In the grocery store, it's hard to tell that we're running out of fish in the sea. But when we take a step back, we see a different picture. In the ocean, fish populations are declining, but our demand for seafood continues to grow. We take more than a half a billion pounds of seafood out of the ocean each day. It's not just that we're taking too many fish out of the sea, there are also problems with how we fish. Some boats drag fishing gear across the seafloor, damaging sensitive habitats like corals, and others use nets and hooks that accidentally kill species like seabirds, seals, and turtles. As wild fish populations have declined across the globe, fish farming, also known as aquaculture, has become more and more popular. Just like we raise cows and chickens, we also raise fish. And surprisingly today, over half of the fish we eat actually comes from a farm. While some types of fish farming are good, this process is not without faults. Chemicals and waste from fish farms can pollute nearby habitats. And diseases from fish farms can spread to nearby wild populations. So, given all these problems, what should Jackie buy? Even though it may seem overwhelming and grim, the good news is that there are ways to catch and farm fish that are environmentally responsible. And the Monterey Bay Aquarium's Seafood Watch program can help you know which seafood to buy and where to find it. How do they do this? The Seafood Watch program has a team of scientists who evaluate fishing and farming practices around the world. They analyze the environmental impacts so that you know which seafood to buy and which to avoid. These are recommendations you can trust. Our research is reviewed by experts from universities, government agencies, and the seafood industry. So how does all this information help the oceans? It starts with you. You can download the Seafood Watch app. Then, like Jackie, ask the person at your seafood counter where the fish is from and how it's caught or farmed. Even if they don't know the answer, they know you care. Just asking your grocery store about sustainable seafood can help save the oceans. When a business knows you care, they start asking their suppliers and distributors the same questions about where the fish came from and how it was caught or farmed. Because of this market demand for sustainable seafood, fisheries and farms are improving their practices. So when you buy fish from an environmentally responsible source, whether it's a grocery store or a restaurant, you help ensure that there are more fish in the sea. And you can help others find good choices by adding these environmentally friendly businesses in the Seafood Watch app. You can also help by sharing the Seafood Watch app with friends. Jackie told her friends Maria, Darren, Tony, and Zoe, and they told their friends. With more and more people asking questions at the store, more businesses, fisheries, and farms are rewarded for doing the right thing for us and for our oceans, which leaves us with more fish in the sea and more fish on our plates. Whether you're a health conscious shopper, a chef, a small business owner, or a large corporation, you can help protect fish and other ocean animals. Join the more than 45 million people who are using the Seafood Watch recommendations. Like Jackie, the next time you buy or eat seafood, ask whether it was caught or farmed sustainably. And if you sell seafood, make a commitment to foster abundant seas and thriving fishing communities. To learn more about the Seafood Watch program and how to get involved, please visit seafoodwatch.org.